Jerry, look! What is it? Sullivan, this couldn't have waited until I got back. A Russian or American? This character turned up in London, Soho, dead. An astronaut? Well, according to the space program directors on both sides of the curtain, no. Uh, good morning. I'll see you later. I'm in for a long day. According to this report, the man might just as well have been in outer space. His air supply had run out and his helmet seemed to have jammed. So he couldn't get any air into his suit, I see. Your problem is quite simple, Stuart. What was the man doing wandering around in a spacesuit? <laughs> simple? About the only thing that springs to mind is a costume ball. The preliminary investigation has ruled that out. Of course, there's always Planet X. I see from the report that the man hasn't been identified. No. It also says that the forensic laboratories found that he'd been in a vacuum in sub-zero temperatures, and also that he'd collected a light dose of radiation. How light? Harmless. But not the sort of thing you'd expect to find in London Soho. Exactly. Might I make a suggestion? Please. About the spacesuit. I discovered in one of my files that there's a company in England at Fanborough working on aerospace projects. It's just possible that they might have a number of spacesuits on loan from the United States. And if one of them is missing? That might rule out Planet X. Dad, don't be greedy, Annabelle. Come on, Stuart. Jason, what are you doing? Come on. I do wish you wouldn't feed them, Mr. King. They're part of a quite complicated test. Did they volunteer? Or did you sneak up behind them in the middle of the night? They're specially bred. Now, if you'll give me just a moment. This should tell us something. Very odd. Now, we get a great many clues from under fingernails, Mr. King. Sometimes of the most unexpected kind. Oh, do tell. Nitric acid. Our spaceman has used it quite recently. I'm told it's very good for the complexion. That's arsenic. I suppose he could be a chemist. Would that account for the radiation? Possibly. If he was in nuclear chemistry. Even the Atomic Energy Commission. I know we have some rather eccentric nuclear scientists, but they'd have to be pretty way out to take a stroll in Soho in a spacesuit. Mm. Anyway, the chemist would hardly get nitric acid on his hands. Have you run his picture through criminal records? No. There's no reason to believe he was a criminal 
or even involved in crime. Well, there is now. All the best villains know exactly what to do with nitric acid. Nitroglycerin. Precisely. There's a Mr. Stuart Sullivan to see you, sir. Oh, yes. Send him in, please. Right. Thank you. Sullivan, we'll have to be brief, I'm afraid. I've got a planning conference in 15 minutes. It's all right, Mr. Carter. I just want your permission to check out some of the equipment around here. Oh, for what purpose? Routine. We've come across a spacesuit in London that's posing a problem. Ah, yes, I do read the newspapers. Yes. Well, it seems like you're the only people who might be able to help. Why do you say that? Well, it was made in the States, sent over here for some reason. Possibly your research. Ah, yes, the Mark IV Apollo system. We've got a number of them. We're adapting a new type of oxygen leak. Then you've lost one. I'm afraid not, Mr. Sullivan. We're not in the habit of losing things like a spacesuit. Well, we've checked. Uh, you're the only people who have the type in question. We received ten some months ago. The equipment checks are carried out weekly. The last one was yesterday, and we still have ten. Well, the suit in London has a serial number. It'll take time, but it can be checked out. Really? Our system is simpler. We just look at them and then count. Yesterday, the count was ten. I'm sorry to have taken up so much of your time. Not at all. I wish I could have solved your problem. Oh, Mr. Carter, if you ever do come across a Mark IV Apollo spacesuit, don't hesitate to call. James Edward Rankin. Well, you were right, Mr. King. He was in criminal records. You've solved my problem. Served three terms. Paroled last year. It would appear that he lost no time in getting back to work. In this spacesuit? Why should he do that? Your problem, Mr. King. Thank you. I can have you arrested for this, Sullivan. That might give you more trouble than it's worth. I very much doubt it. I told you the suits had been checked. I didn't come all this way just to take your word for it. Even though I happen to be research director. You're offensive, Sullivan. I intend to see that your superiors take immediate action against you. I don't think so. What's that? It's supposed to be one of the Apollo spacesuits. Possible. Check them. You'll find that five of these are frogmen suits. That's going to make quite a mess of your inventory. Very well, Sullivan. I shall order an immediate inquiry. With a copy to my department? Of course. Now, I should be grateful if you would remove yourself from these premises. I'd be delighted. Oh, by the way, Mr. Carter, if you need any assistance during the inquiry... I shan't hesitate to call. Good day.
got the message. Yes, how bad is he? Concussion, a couple of cracked ribs. They won't know more till he comes round. Oh, good. Well, it could be worse. Is there any consolation? Somebody opened a cylinder of liquid oxygen and hid it in the boot of his car. Liquid oxygen? Neat? Yes. Well, Stuart must be very, very drunk. Exactly. He was so high he could have floated away. Sounds like a good way to stop Mark Kane. I must remember that. When the car crashed, it went off like an incendiary. Yes. Yes, it would. A man suffocates through lack of oxygen, and they use an extra tank on Stuart. I wonder what he found out. He won't be in a talkative mood tonight. Pity. Well, I must be off. Jason, one of us ought to stay. I'm supposed to be in Paris. In moments of crisis, we must make a sacrifice. No matter how small, a bedside vigil is indicated. You're much better suited for the part. And you? James Edward Rankin has a sister. I have a date at the Shake and Shout. Groovy, baby. So when was yesterday? Like now. You can prove that? Answer to all my problems if today was just the first day in my life. Amen. I'm looking for a friend. Anything special? Or will I do? Your name's Leela Rankin. So what's in the name? Another name. In the corner, the switched on blonde. Thanks. So is your brother. I had a brother once, a long time ago. His name escapes me. It was James. They buried him yesterday. Even so, like I said. Like I said, we must talk. Not this time. Leela, it is important. So is our next orbit round the sun. Now push off, darling. I said it was important. He's calling the scene. Blow. <laughs> Thanks. It could be the fuzz. Or even Santa Claus.
Leela Rankin. Who wants to know? Friends of Jimmy's. Now, nothing to worry about. Oh. We're just taking up a collection. A sort of benevolent fund. Yeah? Well, send me a postcard. We prefer the personal touch. A little presentation for your oldies. Oh, no. You better take it. Keep your mouth shut. at all. After all that dancing, that's all I needed. I think you should go to a new address. You knew this would happen. The reason why I was asking you those questions was the reason why they were trying to stop you. You mean the job Johnny was working on? Without a doubt. Look, I don't think you should stay here tonight. I'll have somebody send for your things. All right. It's a bit late to find somewhere else now. Not at all. I borrowed a friend's apartment. There'd be lots of room there. Hey, you didn't tell me you were an author. We all have our vices. The lady is willing. Really? Better be a lock on my door. His pyjamas will never be the same again. Yeah, well, I'll buy your friend a new pair. It's the least I can do. Tell me about your brother, Jimmy. All right. I suppose you knew all about his... Uh... Nocturnal habits, yes. I know he specialised in safes. Yeah, he was cool. He was the coolest. What do you know about his last job? I don't know, but it was something special. Tricky. He was away for days working on it with the others. When he, what others? Jimmy never used names. But it was big. Very big. Can you tell me any reason why they chose Jimmy? I mean, I know he was good and he did it for kicks. I told you, man. He was cool. I mean, anything new on the market and he was the first with it. Like the, uh... Like the what? Oh, some new magnetic gadget. He had one from the States last year. He used to play with it for hours. Yes, I know the thing. Magnetic combination. No key. Just a series of contact points. Yeah, that's right. You know, I hadn't thought about it, but I'm sure he'd been working on it a lot lately. He said he was the only one that could crack it. Lila, you turn me on. Well, you're pretty way out yourself. Really? Yes, I suppose I am. How's your chocolate? Relaxing. In fact, I may even have to be carried to bed. It might be arranged. In fact, I can recommend it. the hospital. How uh, very nice of you to come round here and remind me. Am I intruding? Yes. What a pity. Your wife. Perish the thought. Annabel Hurst, Leela Rankin. Ooh. Rankin? Precisely. What's it gonna do with her? I have the misfortune to be associated with her professionally. And, uh, we have things to discuss. Professional things. Leela was just about to retire. Pleasant dreams. I'm sure you're going to be quite safe in there. Oh, brother. Yes, obviously. If you can't sleep, there's a collection of my novels beside the bedside table. I gather Stuart has improved. Yes, he's sleeping now. We did have a brief talk. It seems that four of the spacesuits were missing. How does James Edward Rankin fit in? Safe cracker's extraordinary. Her brother's the only man in this country who can open a magnetic combination. So? Well, it's all perfectly obvious. The gang are planning a very, very big robbery. It's just that they've lost their key. Jason, there's nothing obvious about it, unless you can find a motive for the spacesuits. Fast getaway, upwards. You should read my books. 
brilliant. Now, wait a minute. Let's leave the problem of the spacesuits for a moment. The point is, I've just found a foolproof way of finding out that entire plan. There's nothing foolproof about a dead man, four spacesuits, and a set of magnetic locks. That's your trouble, being married to a computer, no imagination. That depends on whether we're dealing with facts or uh, fantasies. The safe is in London. Otherwise, Rankin wouldn't be here. Point one. They're unlikely to find another Rankin in this country. Point two. They tried to silence both Stuart and Leela, which means that they're in a hurry. Point three. The system of magnetic locks has been in use in America for some years. Point four. Their only chance is to fly an expert in fast who can do the job. Point five, I'm really wrong. I, that is the most monstrous piece of assumption I have ever... Any day now, another key is going to arrive at London Airport. I still think it's a waste of time. Our only chance of a lead. We could run a check on every safe in London with that type of lock. One of them's bound to fit all the facts. And what if it's the last one? Take the best part of a week. Stuart, should you be out of hospital? Yeah, I discharged myself. You found any needles yet? We haven't even found the haystack. Exactly why I'm here. Jason, I've gone along with some of your ideas in the past, but this is too risky. Could be a complete waste of time. Flight from New York arrived ten minutes ago. Speaking. Yes? Yes. What's his name? Rinston. Max Rinston. Thank you. Would you send him in, please? The man on that plane was on your list. Yes, I gathered that. At least keep your fingers crossed. And let me do the talking for a change. Could we stop him? Oh, Mr. Rinston, sir. Do come in, please. Sit down. Now, what's all this about? Max, you will save us all a great deal of trouble if you credit us with a little intelligence. Uh, what are you after? Drugs? Oh, Maxie. You have two alternatives. Either you return immediately to the United States and have no more trouble from us, or you walk out of here, pull the job, and get what? A minimum of ten years in Dartmoor prison? Pull what job? The job that Rankin should have pulled. Magnetic combinations. Safes that can be opened only by experts like yourself. Yeah, well, that, that sounds like libel and, and false arrest. I know where the American Embassy is. Oh, splendid. You may need them. Because you'll never leave this country once that safe has been opened. That I personally guarantee. Just who are you? You'll have ten years to work that out. By the by, have you had any special training in spacesuits? They're quite tricky, you know. You know a lot about it, don't you? Okay. If you know that much, I guess it's one job I don't need. How much did they tell you? Well, listen, I didn't say I was joining forces with you fellas. Uh, just book me on the next flight out. Stuart, would you mind, please? And I forgot to tell you, you're going by sea. And don't try and use the ship's telephone. Mr. Rinston has decided to cancel his visit. May I see your passport, please? Thank you. Uh, that will be waiting for you in New York, together with your passport. You can't do that. Can't I? Sue me. Thank you, officer. Hmm. 
Remind me never to play poker with you. Or oh, Russian roulette. He had me worried at one moment. Well, what's with the case in the passport? Well, the chances are they'll have a car waiting for him outside, which will mean an introduction to number one and a full briefing for the job. You're not planning to... Why not? It's not a bad likeness. Taken before I grew my moustache, of course. Oh, no, there's nothing that says you have to take a risk like that. That's true, but they recognize you, and Annabelle's going to be far too busy following me. They recognize you as well, Jason. They saw you with Leela in the garage. Those two, they would just employ. They weren't part of the gang. They wouldn't risk anything at a time like this. So what if you're wrong? Anyway, they'll know you're not rinsed in the minute you try to open that safe. With that, I can't argue. You better stay very close to me, haven't you? You heard him. First time in Britain? Oh, no, no, no. But it's been a long time. You don't look like an American. Is that right? How's a full-blooded New Yorker supposed to look, huh? Take no notice of Malin. He watches too many gangster films on TV. <laughs> I should have worn my black hat and flipped a coin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? London? No. We've got a pleasant little spot in the country. Nice and secluded. Fine. You saw Klein in New York? Right. He didn't talk much. Naturally. You'll get a complete briefing tonight. Want me to check if we've got a tail now? what you mean about the gangster movies. Lay off me, Max. It's not my idea. Malin's quite right. Our boss likes things checked and double-checked. Oh, come on. You're putting me on. Who knows I'm here? Probably no one. But we're in no hurry, so we'll check. All right, Malin, when you like. job was the only one. Come on, come on. We're wasting time. Probably. All right, Malin. If it was after us, it should turn back. Shut up, will you? Shut up! All right, Malin, you know what to do. With what we've got at stake, we can't take any chances. All right. I'm afraid you're in the wrong rally, my dear. Who are you working for? You aren't going anywhere. I want the name. Is it Sullivan? Where's your British hospitality, sir? Why should you have all the fun? It's my party. All right, Max, be my guest. Now, look here, little lady. You see those woods back there? Now, you've got nice long legs. Let's see how fast you can run. I'll give you three. One. Two. A nice scenery around here. OK, let's go. I'm hungry.
Where have you been? I lost them. Oh, no. Any ideas? None. Fortunately, Jason's a good shot. He aimed to miss. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Look, what are we going to do? I've got a better question. What's Jason going to do? Well, what do you think? That's crazy. So what are we supposed to steal? Satellites? Well, just you get used to it. You're going to be wearing it when you open the safe. Is it compulsory or can I go as a Martian? It's our ticket in and out. And it's also a guarantee that no one will be following us when we leave. Grab me, baby. Say, so where is this place? That'll come later. Can you handle the safe in those? I just want to know where and why, you know what I mean? And we like to keep all our eggs in one basket. Don't worry. We'll all be told at the right time. You mean even you don't know, right? Cheers. Here's a list of every firm in London using one of those safes. Thanks. And a street map showing the locations. Did you get the data on the Apollo spacesuit? Oh, it's coming. It's got to be here somewhere. Look, Stuart, you better get some sleep. This is going to take all night. You know, that was a stupid idea of Jason's. Well, it worked. It worked a little too well. Well, what if it's tonight? He won't stand a chance. He won't stand a chance if it's tomorrow night either, if you don't let me get on with this. Startled you a bit, did I? Look, do me a favor. You want to play? Go on the garden, okay? You like to play with guns, right? Choppers. Choppers? Anyone can use a revolver. Is that right? Yeah, a chopper like this would have quite a kick. Shows how much you know. There's no kick at all. You'd be surprised. Some of these have a kick like a mule. Ah! <clears throat> well, Max, meet one of the team, Don Fraser. Pleased to meet you, Don. What's wrong with you, Mellon? Nothing. He fell on his gun. I'm warning you, Rinston. Shut up, Mellon. Now, this is a safe. Do you know the type? Mm -hmm. Well, no problem. How long will it take you? Fifteen minutes. Then why would Rankin plan on taking four hours? How did Rankin die? What's that got to do with it? He knew the safe. I still like to know. How did Rankin die? We had to check out on the job. Rankin went in without checking his air supply. He tried to reach us in the car, but it ran out. Why didn't he take his helmet off? Or were you all still on the move at the time? His helmet jammed. If we'd known, we could have helped. Oh, jam. So the great Rankin couldn't even unlock a simple thing like a helmet? Now, oh, wait a minute, Max. It... Anyone who can't get his helmet off is going to take four hours to open that safe. Rankin knew what he was doing. So do I, Buster. It'll take me 15 minutes to open that safe. And five seconds to take my helmet off. All right, Max. You're the expert. You remember that.
When does the big boy arrive? Tomorrow evening. So it's tomorrow night. If you're ready. I'm ready. The sooner the better. I don't reckon it. Can you open the safe? No, but... Then I... shut up! the one you want. Insufficient data. Face it requirement, negative. Ranking requirement, insufficient data. Target, any one of five places. You need some coffee? Oh, please. You couldn't find a lead at all? Nothing. It's got every scrap of information and nothing fits. Well, it's got to fit somehow. Thank you. What about the five locations it took? Two diamond merchants, one gold bullion dealer, the Guild of Silversmiths and a merchant bank. Yeah, take your pick. The most baffling aspect of all is a spacesuit. Not one of those places has any possible link. I don't know, maybe I'm asking the computer all the wrong questions. Wait a minute. Did you try concentrating just on the suit? How do you mean? Well, look, let's do it in reverse. Get the computer to find the question instead of the answer. Hey, that might work. Have it find what kind of environments in London require a spacesuit. Environment required. Atmosphere, vacuum or toxic gas. Temperature, sub-zero or 100 to 400 centigrade. Radiation beta particles. Conclusion, similar environment created for nuclear research in large-scale particle accelerator. Nobody's going to walk through one of those. Environment requirements exist in high-tolerant ceramic industry third stage. Gas-cooled nuclear reactor, freeze-drying plant, polystyrene vacuum processing. What was that about freeze-drying? The deep freeze factory using vacuum process. Frozen foods. Vacuum frozen and sterilized. By radiation. Low-grade beta radiation. That's got to be the answer. One of those five locations must be right next door to a frozen food factory. He's coming now. It's about time. Mr. Rinston, my name's Carter, the man who sent for you. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Carter. Well, now, we've got a lot to do, so I won't waste any time. Have you tried the suit? Well, it fits. Splendid. I'd like to know why I'm supposed to wear it. Oh, it's quite simple, really. When a company puts more than two million pounds in precious stones in a safe, it doesn't take any chances. This place has got so many alarm systems, it would be quite impossible to break in by any normal means. But in a spacesuit, quite a different matter. Oh, what do we do? Float in through a window? No, Max, we make our own window. This particular company has never bothered to wire the rear wall of the building because the other side is a sub-zero vacuum. No human being could possibly survive, let alone break through the wall. Just walk right in. Precisely. And watch you open the safe in 15 minutes. Two million pounds. I might just do it in ten. Right, well, we leave in four hours. Oh, uh, and I'm afraid no one can leave the house or attempt to use the phone. All right, Max? 
Oh, suits me, Mr. Carter. Can't be too careful these days. Right on the nose. I'm closed for the weekend. Very handy. As long as they haven't figured Jason, they'll probably make their move tonight. It presents us with a bit of a problem. Well, they think I'm dead. One glimpse of me and Jason's on the spot. Yeah. And whoever planted that oxygen cylinder in my car would recognize me. I could call in the police. Well, it would stop the raid. But no, it'd be too chancy for Jason. Somehow, we've got to give him the opportunity to get clear. They're all wearing space suits. We won't even know if it's... That's it. The spacesuit Rankin was wearing is the answer. million pounds, Max. And all ours.
Have you got it? Have you got it? I still think it's a pity you had to barge in when you did. Jason, have you any idea how long it'd have lasted once you started work on that safe? When I said I'd open that safe in 15 minutes, I meant 15 minutes. It only happens to be the most advanced electronic combination in the world. Of that I have no doubt, but I took the precaution of obtaining the combination of each of the safes in London before we went to the airport. Well, of all... Why didn't you tell us? Ah. Leela, right on time. Come in, come in. Give me a minute. I've got to change. But why? That really is way up. Stuart, give the lady a drink. And by the by, if a case comes up in, say, the next couple of days, you'll have to solve it yourselves. <laughs> 